Hi everybody, it's Michelle, and in this video I wanted to give you guys an update on my pocket file of facts experiment. I've been trying to use this as my everyday planner, and so I'll let you know how that has been going. So at the beginning of November, I sat down to really think about what I needed my planner to do for me and what I wanted my planner to do for me because there is a difference between what you really need and what you may want. So I decided to try a combination of systems to see if it would work, which involved using this pocket size planner as my planner, my everyday planner and my wallet. Use this in conjunction with my phone to keep notes, just daily notes in Evernote and my Hobonichi, which is here in this A5 file fax, the domino. I had cut it apart and put it in here. So I have my monthly sheets, the month on two pages, my weeks, and most, well, the current daily pages and the ones that I'm working on now and the blank ones are in here. When I finish these pages, I've been pulling them out and archiving them in another book. So this is what I've been testing out. And even though it works, I've decided that it's not what I want to do. But I will show you guys how I had my pocket file effects set up so that you can see that. And then I'll kind of give you a sneak peek at what I do plan to do starting on December the 1st. So let's take a look inside here. Now I will say that I really love this planner. It is the cover story and it's the floral burst, pocket size, and you can put so much in this planner. It has the 19 millimeter rings and so it has this, you know, elastic enclosure and you can just stuff so many things in here. I can even stick my phone in there and I can carry all that around with me. So since it was my wallet, of course, I had my cards in here and I made dividers for this pocket size to match. And these are a download in the Etsy shop. Um, the dividers, I kept the fly leaf there. Of course, I had my ID and other insurance cards. Now, this is a badge holder, you know, a name badge holder. And I just punched it and put it in here. It ended up being the perfect size for this planner. Just the cover sheet. And I had this separated between personal and business in two different sections. And I kept in the year at a glance and some forward planning sheets are just like that lists each month and what's coming up each month in here. These were from my um, paper chase planner timetable, which I didn't put anything on there. Then I had the month printout, which was from Pembroke Lane. And these were free printable. And I'll put the link in the description box for these. And I had two separate ones, one for personal, one for business. And it's just trifold. And I just have all appointments, birthdays, uh, school holidays, all of that type of information here. And here listed bills and income. And the back is a tracking sheet. That's what I really like about this. I may actually print these out and use them in the system that I'm using now because I can just tape them into the book that I'm using. But I really like this. Just fold that over and I stuck in some sheets, just the weekly sheets. These were the file facts ones, just to keep track of tasks that I needed to do on particular days. They weren't appointments that needed to go on my actual calendar, but I did need to remember to do these certain things on each on those particular days. And this was the December calendar that I put in here getting ready for next month because I, I did want to try to test it out through the end of the year, but I decided that I'm not going to do that. So I have that through the end of the year and then I have my business section, which I have the same calendar printed out. 
Now, just keeping track of daily sales, blog posts, videos, other stats, and in the back on the tracking sheet, keeping track of just some business info that I wanted to keep track of on the back. And the same with the weekly sheets, the week on two pages. Just keeping notes on things that I needed to document in other places or information that needed to be kind of plugged in to other spots. And then I could just get rid of these after I did that and I didn't need to save these pages. And that is the same. I had the December in here also through the end of the year. Then I just had a little journaling tag that was punched to section off my ideas. These are just ideas for patterns and blog posts and other notes. And this is another tab. I don't remember what I had here. I took it out. And then this was for my list here. Just the notes on lists, online ordering, my brain dump. Uh, Christmas gifts I was planning on buying, which I didn't really fill this stuff out because I only used this for about a week and a half. And then blank notes here. And then zip pockets here, holding extra cards like store cards. Then a craft envelope that I cut the top off and I punched to hold receipts. And then top loading envelope to hold coupons. And then I do have another top loading envelope here for cash, which I don't have any cash right now. And in the back, I kept in the notepad with some sticky notes stuck on here. And that is it for the setup of this planner. Now, these pen loops are pretty small, so I did put in my Muji pen. That's the three barrel Muji pen. It would fit perfectly in there. But, and that is the setup of my pocket planner. And like I said, you can put so much in here. I can put more in here, but I just didn't need to. And it just closes right up. And there you go. Now, this is not leather, it's a heavy canvas material. And if you're throwing it in and out of your bag, then it can get dirty, but yeah, that's okay. Hopefully it'll wipe, wipe clean. Even though I'm not going to use this for my planner, I will continue to use it for my wallet because I just love it that much. I don't want to give it up. I love the colors. I bought a pocket Finsbury and Raspberry at the same time, which I haven't used at all. It's still in the box. I may use it in the future because I want to use this one for now. So that's the way I had this set up and I was carrying this every day and I kept it with me when I was working on the computer doing, you know, whatever I needed to do for work, for business. That and then using this for my daily notes. And I also, I moved my shopping list into Evernote also because I will show you if you are an Android user, you can use, you can just do a widget to go directly to a particular note in Evernote. You don't have to open up Evernote and scroll through all your notes to find one. You can just have it right on your screen, open up your shopping list and it's right there for you. So my shopping list and my notes for November are there and I did have my brain up there, but I did move that. I'm not using it there at this time. So that's how I have that set up. Now, because I'm still in love with my Hobonichi also, I have it here in my A5 Domino. And at the end of every day, I would come to my book here, which I kept on my work table, and work on my daily sheets. Now, I do have the months in here and the weeks in here. I would go in and fill this in, the weekly sheets, because I like to keep track of this during the week, I'll, everything that I'm doing. And then I had my daily sheets. And I found that I liked working on these much more whenever I have them separate from my planner. And just pull these out, put them in my archive book, which I'll show you that real quick, which is this domino here. 
it's the hot pink patent domino which I have had for quite a while and I have never ever used it because I don't like the patent I don't know what it is but um, because so much sticks to it and the pages don't want to turn properly so I decided to use this as my archive for the entire year of 2014 at least for the larger sheets anything that was personal size is in a personal size domino so that's pretty much from the months of the middle of April through about the middle of July I have in a personal size domino but this is kind of scattergoried it's so many different sizes I, I have been back and forth through so many different systems and sizes for the year that is just crazy but most of that fit in here I still have to pull out my sheets from the very beginning of the year which were, are a full size eight and a half by eleven planner sheet and I will fold them and put them in here then I have my bullet journal that I started back in March and then I moved it into a file of facts and I had much bigger sheets in there and then I had an A5 file of facts so it's just kind of all back and forth different sizes and then I have my archived Hobonichi sheets in here also. So this will have my archive up through the end of November because on December 1st I am going to start something new. And I will show you guys that right now. My plan for December is to start using my Hobonichi which is the this is the large one the cousin it's a five size and I will still use this like I said as my wallet so but this is just going to be a wallet and I will only have in some blank papers to keep notes if I need to jot a note down while I'm out but this is what I'm going to use I don't plan to take it apart I'm hoping to keep it all together in the book at this point the one thing that I did add to it is I decided to keep a bullet journal again which this is my bullet journal right here and I just slid it into the front cover so I can take it out use it separately take it with me on the go or I can leave it in the book and just keep it all together mostly when I'm home I don't plan to take this A5 the Hobonichi out and about with me unless I absolutely need to so everything I need should probably be in here or in my phone so I'm going to use the Hobonichi in conjunction with this so this is going to have all my scribbles and my notes and my daily task and all of this mess that I like to keep track of all the time and it can be as messy as I want it to be because usually the messier it is the better I like it so that's my bullet journal and I will start these technically start in January but we all know that they have a December calendar in here and you can start December daily pages because it has two days on one page beginning on December the first in this large in the cousin size it does and the smaller ones it does not it doesn't start till like the last week of the year the only thing that it's missing is it does not have weekly sheets for December which I can just take them out of here and tape them into this book if I want to use them which is probably what I will do and there are certain days in December that I have a lot of birthdays between the birthdays and the holidays I will want more room than just this skinny little column to keep track of things so I will take those days either out of this other Hobonichi or just put a different an extra piece of paper in here and tape it in so that I can keep all my pictures for Christmas and birthdays because my daughter birthdays the 23rd then it's Christmas Eve then it's Christmas and then it's my granddaughter's birthday so those four days all in a row you know are pretty big major days during the holidays so I will probably do that at least for these two sections right here put in extra paper and then tape in my weeks for December 
and then I can get started on December 1st. So I am really excited about that. That is not even two weeks away. Well, maybe about two weeks away to get started with that. But I have already started with my bullet journal. I have already switched over to this and using this every day. So this has really helped. I like my bullet journal. I have always liked the bullet journaling system. I have tried to adapt it into the file effects and other systems, but I think it works better when you keep it in its own book. I'm sorry, my voice is going in and out again. I can't seem to kick whatever this is we have going on here in the house. Just quickly, I'll kind of show you what I do have. Of course, I have my index. You know, I make up my own bullet journal system. I don't use the traditional <laughs> bullet journal. I don't have a key for, you know, my color coding and all of that because I, I know what I'm putting in here. And I know what my little indicators mean. And so I don't need somebody else to come look at my book and understand what I'm doing because I'm the only one that matters when it comes to this book. So I have my index. And I just start out with uh, business info. And this is just a calendar that I cut apart. I uh, bought a little 18-month planner at Walmart. And I cut it out. And I glued that in here. And I taped it here for daily sales. My tracking, just notes for the business, my order sheet, Christmas gifts, Christmas plans, online orders, and it's blank, and I'm so proud of myself because I haven't been buying things online like crazy. I've been trying to keep it under control because I know I have to spend more at Christmas. And then here just starts my daily sheets for my task, and that's it. I started this last... Thursday and oh moving on that's those were daily sheets this here is a list of quarters that I have listed in the Etsy shop and that's just these are the ones I have listed my husband makes these rings and I need to remember what states I have listed because these are made out of state quarters and I sell them in the Etsy shop and this is my brain dump, and that is as far as I've gotten. When I get further along in the month, I'll go ahead and tape in my calendar for December to keep track of all the business stuff there. And I will only have calendars in here for this purpose right here, at least at this point. Because when December comes, I'm going to use my calendar in the Hobonichi for all of my personal things. And I will use the weeks to keep track of all of my time. And then I will use the days just to do daily journaling. And that's how I plan to do that at this point. If you see all these sticky notes on here, these are just, I put them there because I want to sit down and think about the different things that I want to keep track of in each separate area. And if you're familiar with the Hobonichi, you know what I'm talking about because Right here is a section with check boxes, so you can keep like a list, and then here's all this space here for notes or tracking. Down here you have all this space for notes or tracking, and then you have a lot of space in each block for each day. And then on the weeks, I know I have it here. Here on the weeks, you have the whole day listed out from 6 a.m. to midnight and it is military time but you get used to that though if you're not used to it I'm not I'm not military but I have gotten used to it after using this since about July so but at the top it does have checkbox again that you can keep track of things and you can and then it has space at the bottom to keep notes on the side it has all this note space so just each little area I want to try to be consistent and telling myself what I want to keep track of in each area. That's the weeks. And then on the daily pages, same thing. You have the section up here with the checkbox. This is for the cousin. And the Japanese version of the Techo also has this, I believe. The English planner does not have this up here. But you have that section here. And then you have this whole section. And I wanted to try to get a grip on what I wanted to keep track of in this book and the daily sheets. I pretty much know now I have changed it a little bit on what I do on these pages. I'll show you. I 
I come back each day. Of course, I do my weather and the temperature. And I write in the day here because it has the, the day and the day. I mean, the month and the date. But then I write in the day so I know what day of the week it is. And right under that, I have just been putting what I did today. And so this is just a list of things I had on my task list that I actually got completed. And things that were like highlights of the day. I just jot that all down in here so I can go back and say, okay, that's everything that I did today. Okay. And then pictures from whatever happened during the day or anything that may be going on. This day I didn't have very much. I didn't hardly do anything. It was very cold that day though. I will do um, a flip through of my November Hobonichi at the end of the month. And you can kind of see how this has evolved for me since I separated it all out and I don't even try to do any planning on these sheets. So they look much different than they did when I first started using my Hobonichi. So that is my plan for beginning December the 1st. If you guys have any questions about my setup or what I plan to do. Oh, one more thing. I do have this also. I have the A6 size Hobonichi. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I think that I am. This, I believe, I'm just going to draw in here or watercolor every day. I think that's going to be my plan for this one. So if you have any questions about my setup, what I plan to do, or any of these supplies, if you're wondering about this Hobonichi cover, I just did this with scrapbook paper and stuck it inside my plastic cover on cover. It'll probably be red for next month for Christmas. But just let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day and I will see you next time.